so we will start with the oral, uh, mainly or extravascular in general, um, uh, kinetic uh, for uh, one compartment, first order. This is what we'll uh, have as a model and a single uh, uh, dose uh, model. Again, before in the slides, before we talk about uh, some details, uh, slight brief details about biopharmaceutics of extravascular uh, kinetic. Now I will uh, keep going talking about mainly kinetics and the model of one compartment and single dose. Mainly we will talk about uh, first order and I will uh, talk about the details when it's not a first order, but this will be our model. Okay, uh, if we remember when we were talking about IV bolus compared to what we have in extravascular, we had on rectilinear profile, which is similar to what you have in your second slide, we will have descending exponential if we are having concentration versus time uh, for the extravascular concentration versus time again on rectilinear we will have by exponential term or by exponential uh, profile okay if you remember i will have c b naught at time zero and at time infinity i will have a zero um uh, concentration again my model was one compartment with one elimination uh, process and I have nothing here because I have the drug directly going uh, through uh, the uh, model or in, in the compartment. We have amount in the body and this was first order kinetic, right? And here we have one compartment and I have elimination rate constant. I have another uh, kinetic uh, process that is related to absorption and then the amount that is entering to the site of absorption which we call it XGI if we are talking about oral extravascular okay so as we start with the highest amount or the largest concentration and amount because it's directly entering the body here and here we start with zero because we have nothing at the beginning then we have the maximum then at time of infinity, we have zero. So we have the difference of what is when we start and the maximum compared to when we start and the maximum in IV bolus. And this is covered in your second slide. If you go to the slide with me and the third slide, okay? According to uh, the uh, details that we have here in the extravascular, we will have what we call C max or C peak, and we will have T max or T peak. We have area under the curve, okay? And this is total area under the curve. Those are different parameters that we usually um, uh, have when we are having the uh, extravascular or oral um, uh, kinetic. And this is in your fourth slide. And then according to this, which is something that we talked about earlier, if you know some stuff that is related to uh, the um, the therapeutic range, let's say if you are talking about minimum effective concentration and minimum toxic concentration, we know that we have uh, some other important details such as this is would be the onset uh, of the uh, onset of action for my drug. This will be the uh, termination uh, time for. Uh, my drug because it's here we have a concentration that is equal or more the minimum effective concentration the uh, termination of the uh, uh, action because the concentration start to be less than minimum effective concentration and we have this that uh, the duration of action of the drug according to the therapeutic that I'm not passing the minimum toxic concentration those all those details that we have already in the introduction uh, is a simplification of whatever I can have from just knowing the details of the kinetic, okay? And this is in your uh, fifth slide, okay? If we uh, go to your sixth uh, slide, sixth slide, okay? You can find uh, that, again, I have this model. I will be 
draw it here and I think yes I'm still in the range of the camera I will have absorption process I will have elimination process I will have the amount XGI I will have amount eliminated which is XE eliminated okay this is eliminated amount and this is amount available to be absorbed or we call it also um, absorbable amount or bio available or just to be absorbed all of this are the same uh, definition of the amount uh, that is available at the site of absorption we will still have xp here if you remember in this model again just to remind you what we had uh, before i will write it at the side here okay we had this and it was dxp over dt if you remember equal minus k the uh, first order rate constant over i'm um, sorry multiplied to xp at a certain time right first order rate constant amount um, uh, at a certain time remained and this is we call it the rate uh, elimination rate right which is the same the uh, change uh, and the amount per time okay this was just only related to the elimination process okay which is similar to whatever i have in this part right okay if we are talking about i will write this as a differential equation the rate of change and the amount per unit of time as dxp over dt it's no longer called elimination rate because i have both processes it should be equal to one rate of absorption okay because it's increasing it will be positive minus a rate of elimination and it's minus because it's decreasing okay so this will be in general differential equation rate of change in the amount in the body at certain time over time a rate of absorption at certain time minus rate of elimination at certain time okay and this is true regardless if we have first order or zero order uh, kinetic here okay let's say that this is the one okay if we continue you'll find according to the profile that i just draw and i will draw it again a little bit bigger because i will talk about it again later if we this second I will have this profile for the same model that I have here okay so I have by exponential profile I will have my maximum at T max I have C max okay if I want to know what is ever is happening here again I will write it here just to not keep talking about it or flip the page dxp over dt rate of absorption which will be dxgi over dt change of the amount at the absorption site over time minus dxe over dt the elimination okay at certain time at certain time at certain time okay so if we are talking about the general case and the uh, kinetic or the conventional uh, case in a kinetic usually the rate of absorption and we will talk about this later but just at the start on this it's usually um, uh, ra uh, more rapid than uh, the rate of elimination which means that the rate of elimination is my rate limiting step okay so accordingly I will have here at the beginning the uh, rate which you see on your um, eighth profile you will have rate of at this phase a rate of absorption more than the rate of elimination okay then at this 
stage or phase after the peak directly the rate of absorption start to what to be a little bit lower than the rate of elimination okay then at the terminal phase which we call it terminal phase as i told you before okay then the rate of absorption will be equal to zero and only i will have elimination because rate of absorption tend to be zero okay and the last thing i will have the peak in which both rates rate of absorption equals rate of elimination okay so this is what happens according to uh, this um, equation on the graph or as simplification of whatever is happening again this is the rate of change of the amount of the drug and the model that I have okay whatever is happening here the rate of change rate of absorption minus the rate of elimination at the first phase I will have rate of absorption higher than the rate of elimination then directly after the peak I will start to have a decrease in the rate of absorption compared to the rate of elimination at the terminal phase I will have only the elimination uh, phase or elimination only because the rate of absorption will be equal zero at the maximum or the peak I will have the rate of absorption equal rate of elimination and this is what you already have on your eighth slide okay F again uh, we notice this uh, differential equation it's true either we are talking about first order kinetic or zero order kinetic it doesn't matter because it's just differential equation usually we have first order kinetic which is um, uh, the general case in which uh, we have the uh, drugs in solution or rapidly dissolved in dosage form and we have immediate release so usually it's a first order kinetic Ye sometimes we have zero order which we will not talk about and the zero order usually happens when we are talking about uh, the uh, controlled some of the controlled release or modified release in which the absorption start to be not that quick to an extent it's not uh, first order and uh, the uh, drug is released on a constant rate okay so this is uh, the beginning of whatever that uh, we have uh, so far i will stop here in this um, uh, video and i will conti uh, continue in the second one